Okay, so hopefully that is recording. I've just pressed go and we'll see. I shall find out in about 25 minutes. So, uh, the, hello and welcome to Crochet Moments. This is my channel where I like to talk as much things yarn as I possibly can. And um, just I like to show you all the things I'm working on and just generally my place to make yarny friends. This is episode 13. I am Helen. I should have said that right at the start. <laughs> Never mind. Um, yes, yeah, so um, welcome to my channel. I've got a few new subscribers, so hello and a big hello to all my returning viewers. It's really nice seeing um, a few regular people commenting a bit on my videos and um, it's really nice to hear from you. So even if you... Um, don't want to comment if you'd like to share your whips and finished objects with me um, I will put my email in the description box below and on, you can find me crochet moments on Instagram I nearly forgot then <laughs> and I am Helen Brown crochet on Ravelry you might notice a little bit of a change in the quality of my video today uh, Simon has allowed me to start using his posh camera and um, we've got really strange lighting setup so we've got he's got one of those professional lighting stand things and it's not really showing lots of light so I do apologize if the colors seem or I seem to be a little bit shaded anyway um, what else do I need to say I think I've said everything that I usually start say at the start. Oh, if you hear any moving around in the background, that's just Catherine who is, as usual, playing her Sims 4 mm -hmm. on my laptop. So I do apologise if you hear any shuffling around and things. So first things first, I've got a finished object. So if you saw episode 12 you will remember that I was oh so close to a finish on Catherine's Hermione's everyday socks well I finished them and here they are now they have been worn so they're probably a little bit scruffy and they're very comfy as well I hope you heard that but that was Catherine just saying how much she loves her new socks so here they are so here's the first one. They're not very matchy. Oh, that lighting is atrocious. You can't, it's all shadow. This isn't good, is it? But this is the first sock. Like I said, I do apologize for the lighting. He almost blinded me uh, with it to, I shall set the lighting up myself next. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the second sock and like I said she as soon as I finished them on uh, well she I finished them just after she went to bed on the Friday evening so on the Saturday morning as soon as she spotted them on the t dining table she put them on <laughs> so she loves them and she really doesn't care that they're not a match matching pair um, if I use this yarn again I'm gonna buy two pair uh, two balls and try and match them up that way so that I can at least get them close to being matched because it might not bother her but it bothers me that they don't match <laughs> So yeah, so that is a finished object. And that's the only finish that I've had over the last couple of weeks. I'm still plodding along on all of my whips and I have been naughty and started something. Actually, well, two new starts because I always want to have a pair of socks on the go. So I've started a new pair of socks and I have started another knitting project which I've not got very far on. I've only started it this week, so I shall show you that today as well. So let's get on with my 
whips and I'm going to start with my crochet whips. So my first one is probably, out of all of them, my longest running whip. And I don't know why it's taking so long to do because it's I'm really enjoying it. So, but I'm very close, I'm very, very close. I have started the sleeves. So first I'm going to show you the, I think I've, I showed this last time, oh crikey, the main body of the cardigan. So I've joined the shoulder seams just there and um, so we've got a cardigan well it's starting to take shape so all I have left to do is the sleeves are the sleeves rather what kind of English am I talking so I've got the sleeves to do and the borders and ends I've got a few ends to sew in I really do need to um, find um, a video. I know one of my regular viewers, Sofferty, has recommended a video at some point, but I can't remember where it was. So Sofferty, if you want to remind me that video of crocheting ends in, I'll be very grateful. So that's the main part. And the sleeve. I haven't got very far so I've just got the first colour change in but I just love this stitch pattern it's definitely a stitch pattern I want to work with again because it's it I really really like the 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 way it the shape and the diamond sort of pattern that the way you do the box stitches form it's it's absolutely stunning and I really 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 love this pattern so much so the yarn I am using when I can get it out of the bag is um, a Starcraft Life DK so this one is the Heather and that color is not coming out brilliantly because of the shadow but that is quite a nice purple and then I've got the the main color that I'm using is vintage look Starcraft life DK uh, this is in indigo and the rate it's going I might have a, some of this left and I'm keen to see how it knits up because so I've I've crocheted with it and I really like using it it's very very nice yarn to use so I've got this much and this much left so I, I'm not sure um this this pattern does eat yarn quite a lot so I'm not sure how much I'm going to have I'm hoping I have enough of this to get the other two repeats done I'm fairly sure I'm, I should have but there's always an element of doubt with crochet because, like I said, this pattern is a bit of a yarn eater. Um, these, the box stitch in particular, um, so we've got double trebles, three trebles around the double treble, um, although the row in between is mostly chains, so I'm not sure. Fingers crossed that I get <laughs> so, I can't buy any more yarn for a little while um, although well we, we shall see <laughs> I really shouldn't buy any more yarn but it is my birthday coming up so if I get birthday money is it really buying more yarn if it's buying with money that I've been given for my birthday it's because isn't that just a, being given a gift <laughs> I don't know but yes so um, Catherine's quite looking forward to my birthday because Emily chose the really lovely um, Orchidine luxury yarns 
um, skein of Angelo, I think it was the silk fingering weight yarn. The really nice one and I I think I found the pattern that I want to do that, <laughs> may, may use that on. But anyway, so um, because Emily chose that colour, Catherine gets to choose my yarn for my birthday. So she's quite excited. She loves yarn shopping. And I don't think Simon, my husband, knows what he's letting himself in for because I can imagine Catherine spending quite a while scrolling through the list of um, lovely hand dyers that I have provided. <laughs> so, yes. So that's that loveliness. Now, my next crochet whip um, that I'm going to show is the crochet along that I got in the advent calendar that I got from Crochet Society. Now overall I have enjoyed the pattern but I have not enjoyed the yarn. So the yarn is um, Bella Coco Confection DK And it's a 100% acrylic yarn. The balls that we got were little 33 gram balls. Um, and I already completed the survey in regards to the advent calendar. And I did comment that I don't feel that 50 pounds was value for money for this one. And I won't be getting um, another one. I do plan on getting an, a, a yarn um, advent calendar for 2021 Christmas, but I'm not quite sure which way to go. Uh, there, uh, there are quite a few out there as far as um, hand dyers are concerned. And definitely the hand dyers I've bought yarn from, they all have some absolutely stunning yarns. So it's going to be tricky deciding which one to go for, uh, but I'll only be able to afford the one, so I have to choose just the one. We shall see. Anyway, um, on to my cow progress. So I've finished the main body of the blanket, and as you can see, it is really, really nice. The, just the general patterns... So there are lots of lovely mosaics. So this stitch marker here is where I was the last time you saw this. Uh, so I've done all of that. So, And I just really like the way that the mosaic works in there. It's I really enjoy mosaic crochet. Um, I've got a few projects in mind for future that I would like to work on. So I have started doing the border, foundation row for the border, which is basically, it's just a slip stitch all the way around. Now, there was a, it's not the neatest along the side at all. There was a count to aim for. I just couldn't get it. I don't know why. Uh, so I'm going probably going to have to bodge the sides a little bit and hope for the best. But um, I have enjoyed working on this pattern and um, I forgot my notebook so I couldn't tell you who designed it right now. I, I can't remember where I've hidden, hidden it. I've put it on a shelf somewhere. So yes... I would be interested in making this again but just because some of the stitches like these um, beads are they bead stitches no these are bead stitches so these bead stitches and these um, oh I can't remember what those ones were but these bobble type stitches here were a nightmare with this yarn it's just it's got a really loose twist to it so as you crochet it separates and splits so much i do have quite a lot left and i've been keeping it all in 
one of my old crochet society boxes so it, it's basically all in here so I am looking for a project to use this up on and I would like to try a knit project just because just to give it a try on the knit craft just because maybe this yarn just isn't suited for crochet because it's a lovely soft yarn and the colors are just beautiful here's one of the colors and um, obviously in the last box which is box 19 we had six balls so I've got some of the larger sized balls as well um, and all these lovely colors I love this blue absolutely love this blue so I would really like to do sort of like a sampler um, a, bl a blanket, a little afghan um, for knitting. So if any of you know of any patterns, free or paid, I don't mind paying for my patterns, um, that will use up that yarn. I haven't worked out the meterage yet because I still have one, two, three, four, five colours to go. So once I've got to the end I plan on working out roughly what meterage I have but just by sticking them all on the scales and seeing what it comes out at and working out a rough meterage from there because I know how much because one ball is how many meters 66 meters so I know one ball is a uh, 33 gram is 60 six meters so I just need to work out how many lots of 33 grams I've got times by 66 and I'll know roughly what meterage I've got but yes so I'm really this is a love-hate project for me because I'm really loving the the project itself just not loving the yarn yes so I look forward to seeing the end of that which will hopefully be there very soon should pop that back in its bag shortly so my last crochet no oh no not my last crochet project let's show my smaller crochet next crochet project next so this is a wonky donkey so I apologies for that I think Catherine just knocked a pot of play-doh on the floor or something <laughs> so this is wonky donkey I've somehow managed to sew his head on really wonky but I don't care I think it gives him character so <laughs> this um, is I'm used the main color I'm using is a Starcraft special DK and this is I think it's just called gray I can't remember the name. I have lost the ball band. And this darker colour on his nose and his hooves is... Ac <sighs> Sorry about that. Catherine was just reminding me about my timer. Um, I still had five minutes to go. <laughs> she obviously thinks I've been chatting too long already. So, <laughs> yes, to you too. <laughs> anyway... So, progress on this is, oh, let's show you the pattern, because I've shown you how wonky he is, and this is how lovely he's supposed to look. So, this is a free pattern. I can't remember if I found it on Ravelry, or if I found it just through a search on Pinterest, but um, it is by... I can't remember, I can never remember. So it's not really obvious on the printout that Simon did for me. Oh, Craft Passion. It's a free pattern by Craft Passion. So I have got one leg finished. That was my last session. And most of a hoof.
and because with amigurumi my tensions don't seem tight enough I don't seem to get a tight enough fabric for them I am using a two and a half millimeter hook now this is a really really cheap hook I think I paid three pounds for a set of five it's got a really hard handle but um, they're actually quite nice hooks to use they're not my favourite hooks. My favourite hooks by a mile are the Crochet Society hooks, which I will miss. I've got one box left to um, arrive, box 20. But um, after that, that's it. So if I need any more hooks in different sizes, I'm going to have to find a different supplier. Ooh. Although, to be fair, a lot of the uh, Crochet Society hooks are starting to get a bit samey for the sizes. So that's Wonky Donkey back in his box. Okay, and now for my sheepies cow. This is getting... <laughs> Oh, a bit of a nightmare. That's trying to work out where I've got up to. Am I working on the grey now? Where's my stitch marker or my loop? Oh, this is just... Ah, there we are. So, I am... Ah, yes, so I am working on... What row am I on? I am on row 90 of, apologies, I keep leaning off, off camera, uh, everything's sort of around my feet. <laughs> yeah, so row 90 of 105. So I've still got a way to go, especially seeing as a round can take almost an hour. I'm not too slow a crocheter, but when I'm having to count um, stitches and just to make sure and keep reminding myself of the pattern so this is what I've got done lately it's just these couple of rows here and let's just hold it out so you can see the whole thing well as much of the whole thing as I can fit in <laughs> so this is oh I'm a ghost Woo. So, so this is the whole thing and it's absolutely glorious and I cannot wait until, well it's usually September when they announce the next, uh, their, their cows. I can't wait, I really can't wait for the next one. <laughs> Can they do one earlier? I know on the Facebook group they do host a few make-alongs so there is a make-along going on on the Facebook group with, um, it's, it's a scarf um, and it's using our tribe yarn, which is a yarn I definitely want to try because it looks like a really nice yarn. Um, and it's a knitted scarf and it's beautiful. And they've sort of given little hints that there is a mini crochet along coming along soon. So <laughs> watch this space, I might have another crochet start and Simon will probably tell me off. I might try, I, I am going to make an effort to use my yarn stash as much as I can. So um, I don't know if I will buy new yarn as tempting as it will be. Um, I'm, I need to be good, I need to be good. I'm running out of space for all of this yarn. So if I don't use it, I won't have space. So those are my crochet whips and um, let's move on to some knitting. Now I've done a few, a little bit of progress. So I've got my socks. I've started the Hermione's Everyday Socks again. This time for Emily because Big sister had a pair. Emily wanted a pair. So this is the pattern. The sock, although you've already seen the sock. Where did I put them? Oh, there they are. 
So this is the pattern, just to remind you. And like I said, it is a free pattern. It's a fairly simple pattern as well. If you can count, rib, and, um, well, if you can rib, you can do pearl and knit stitches, then it's definitely one to try. So Catherine's I knit on um, a short, nine inch short circular knit prosing, which I actually still have in my bag. So here it is. Um, I, in hindsight, should have used DPNs because for Catherine's, I had to cast on 56 stitches instead of the usual 60, 64 for an adult sized sock. And it was just ever so slightly too few stitches for the needle. But I have used these on socks for myself um, and they they are really nice to use. So Emily's, because I had to cast on 48 stitches oh, on my DPNs, so that means I get to use my really lovely DPN holders. And I bought these from um, Pickle Lily from Etsy and I shall try and remember to link her shop below. She always has some lovely things in there. I haven't bought anything from her um, since these actually. Maybe I could treat myself. That could be what I spend my birthday money on. Instead of yarn, I could treat myself to a nice project bag. I've seen a few. <laughs> so let's take this out. I'm also using my little mystery Christmas bag from Knit Me Sane and there is there's her button and it's just this is um, I bought it in the sale actually but it's thank it's more of a winter pattern so I am using it just because it's perfect size for socks and also I'm using the lovely stitch marker as my beginning of round marker which I need to move up now because I've moved along the sock a little bit that I got in my Christmas Eve box. I know it's a Christmas tree and it's not Christmas anymore but I don't care. I think it's really cute and you can't really see it against the pink of the sock. There you go, it's a little bit better on the yellow. Anyway so this is how much I've got. Now I am trying this time a diff slightly different way, but normally I would knit um, two socks at the same time, but I'm going to see if I fall victim to the dreaded second sock syndrome. So I'm just knitting one sock at a time. And I made a bit of a boo-boo on this sock. I'm hoping I can get away with it. On the gusset, I forgot to adjust for the smaller foot size. So I think I worked out, I even wrote it on the pattern. I wrote it on the pattern that I worked it out that I should pick up 12 stitches for the gusset. And I picked up 16. <laughs> so is going to have a bit of a, a bit of a wide gusset going on. Um, I just didn't have the heart to pick it back. I, I don't have the confidence to do that in my knitting. With crochet it's really easy if you spot a mistake to rip it back. My worry is if I rip something back in knitting I'm going to miss stitches being picked up and I didn't realise until I was quite a way down the gusset <laughs> gusset decreases um, that I'd done it and with the decreases in there as well I just thought you know what I'm gonna chalk it down to experience Emily's feet grew really quickly anyway so the chances of them fitting her for very long anyway because the set the pair that I made her back in 
I think it was November I finished those. They are already too small for her feet. So <laughs> I don't think I'm going to mind too much if there's, if they, they don't fit perfectly. So those are my socks. And um, like I said, this is a free pattern on Ravelry. I have linked it below before um, in my other videos. But I'll link it again for you in this one. that's that knitted whip so which one shall I work? show now because I have another two sorry I just need to adjust myself I, I sit in the center of my sofa and I never put any cushions behind me to support my back and after a while because my posture is so atrocious my back starts to hurt so I should find some comfort really so the next one I'm really excited about the progress I'm making on this is my sweater that I'm making from my Harry Potter book so this is the owl post pullover and it is designed by Joan Forgione Forgione I haven't got a clue but um, yes I've had a, been having a little bit of a sizing issue I did do a tension swatch and everything was fine with the tension swatch. And then as I was doing the cable, um, it just seemed to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And I don't know if I just lost my tension that I started with, or um, maybe I did my tension swatch wrong, I'm not sure. But, so, so I've had to adjust the sizings a little bit. I did try it on a little bit and it, seems to fit so far but I haven't tried it on since I put the armholes in so this is today's project as well so let's get this out the bag now I've started the big ball of wool so I did start with what was left from my meandering paws scarf that I made a friend and I've only just recently added in this yarn so this is the Aldi Aran yarn in forest green. Um, I just love this colour. It's such a beautiful colour. And you get 400 grams, you get 800 metres for, I think it was £4.99. So really, really good value. And it's a lovely yarn and it has a wool content to it is 75% acrylic and 25% wool and it's it's just so soft and squishy <laughs> this is like a big teddy bear to just cuddle on its own so uh, that's that now let's try and get this held up in the right way okay so here is my sweater so far it does look a little bit small around the bottom because it's bunched up on my needle so that I don't think so. I'm using my Knit Pro Zing interchangeables. And these are the five millimeters. And the best thing with them is they're all different colors according to the sizes. So it just helps. I think so. so I, I have to get it the right way up again. So I did my first I cord ever I cord bind off on the neckline it's not the neatest but I'm quite proud of that because I have never done I-cord before and I was surprised at how simple it was once I'd watched a few videos I did forget to pick up a little bit on my wrapped stitches for the short rows there so I've got a little bit of a hole but I'm just really loving it so I've popped in some waste yarn for the armholes. This is where I'm not 100% sure, because of the waste yarn in there, I'm not 100% sure if the armhole is going to be big enough or not. But I won't know that until I try it on properly. So I'll have to undo the knot that I've put in there 
It's the first time using waste yarn as well. I've never knit anything like this in the round before. Oh, that's the back. <laughs> so I, my seaming uh, of the cable panel wasn't the neatest. I did try to match it up, but I, I really struggled. I was quite tired that night and I just couldn't get it to match up where the way I wanted it to. But that doesn't matter so much. So, yes. So now I'm just knitting, knit, 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 knit down the body. So as it stands at the moment, so it sits quite nicely over the bust. So I'm just going to knit until it's long enough. The pattern says for 32 centimetres from my underarm, but I'm just going to keep going until it's long enough for me to feel comfortable because I don't like my jumpers to be too short. I'm very conscious that I have a little bit of a podge and I like to keep it covered. So, um, but I am really proud of myself on this. Really proud. It's definitely the problem is it's, it's one of the more complicated makes that I've ever made actually if we don't include socks but then even then my so far my sock patterns have been quite simple that the patterns that I followed and this this cable was it was hard work and I don't know if that was just because of the Sorry about that. So <laughs> the battery died on the camera. So <laughs> right now, why was I? Oh yes, I was just finishing off talking about this, which I think I had about done with really. So um, that is my current main nip knitting whip. Now I got fed up of coming downstairs in the morning to grab a project to work on in bed while Simon was in the shower. So. I make an effort to wake up and get ready to get out of bed. <laughs> so while he is in the shower, I do a little bit of knitting or crochet. I mean, I've been dying to start this for so long. And this is, when I can find the first page, the Summer Court Tack. Tank by Tristan Molina and Dragon Horde Designs. And this is a lovely summer top. It's black and white, so you probably can't see it brilliantly. Um, it's got this lovely lace detail at the bottom. So this is a paid for pattern, um, but I got it for free. I I followed them on Instagram and I think it was sometime around Thanksgiving the um, Dragon Horde Designs put a freebie code on their um, Instagram feed so you just went over, chose a pattern, put the freebie code in and I took a while deciding but I decided on this one and I have used some yarn. I'm using some yarn that I have been dying to use since I bought it back in November of 2019. And this is the gorgeous yarn. So this is Cuddle Bums hand dyed yarn and it is um, mint rainbow. I had no idea if they still have this colour on their website. I shall pop a link to them below. It is a 400 metre, 100 gram uh, sock weight yarn. It's 75% superwash merino, 20% nylon and 5% stellina, which is the sparkle that you can just about make out. And I just... I love this yarn and I had a certain little girl who's more of a big girl now really in mind for this yarn when I bought it so this is what it looks like all rolled up 
it looks crazy all rolled up with all these <laughs> just really random colours. But um, it does look nice. And this, it all oh, cracky. It's a bit of a tangle. So here is, this is how much I've got done. So <laughs> I think I've got about uh, five rows. No, oh, a little bit more than five rows. I'll look at the chart. The chart will tell me because I've been. Oh, I can ignore that timer because I had to stop for the battery. So the chart. I'm on the sixth row of the chart, and that's another thing. I can't, for the life of me, crochet from a chart. So when. I've seen patterns, knitting patterns with charts in them rather than written row by row instructions. I thought, ooh, but it's so easy to follow. I've, I have really <laughs> found a good way. My, my tension is all over the place in this it, because it's a lace pattern. Now let's try and hide my face so you can see the knitting and at the moment, I don't think I've got enough there to really see the colours coming out properly. But it has been really nice to work with this yarn, finally. <laughs> and um, I've already picked out a crochet project for some more of my nice fancy yarn that I've got upstairs. So let's pop that away. Oh, and I've got this in my very beautiful Amelia Joy, was it Amelia Joy? Oh crikey, I can't remember. It's Amelia X. Amelia X Joy, that's what it's. <laughs> the bag that Simon bought me for Christmas and it's got lots of pretty pussycats. And I really love this bag. Yet another contender for any spending of birthday money. If I get any, it depends. As I have asked Simon for a yarn binder. So I've picked out the Knit, Pick, uh, Knit Pro one. So if any of you have the Knit Pro yarn binder, please let me know what you think before he buys it so that I can let him know if I need to change my mind. <laughs> so those are... Are they my whips? Yes, that's all of my whips. So yay! Well, it's not all, all of my whips. There are a couple that um, I haven't made much progress, if any. So ugh, I've got my Celestia cow that I have been working on. Now, I've recently received the latest Crochet Now magazine, which I will show you shortly. And it had the last part, the joining of the blanket. So I'm really, really hopeful that I can get the blanket finished before the next cow starts because they gave a sneak peek of their next cow that they'd be hosting in the magazine and I love it and it is designed by Esther of All in a Nutshell and those of you who have been working on the sheepies cow, any of the sheepies cows um, from over the years will know Esther's calming voice and her calming, just, I could sit and watch her and not crochet <laughs> along with what she's working on. But um, if I get really stressed out with a part of a pattern that she's done a video for, I know that I'm in a good place once I start watching her and listening to that voice. And it, it just instantly, like, yes, I know what I'm doing now. <laughs> Anyway, let's get on, otherwise this video is going to be really, really long. And it probably already is a little too long than it needs to be, because I talk too much. So I'm going to start with... Oh, nearly gave you a peek of my address then. <laughs> um, yes, my um, minis subscription arrived. This, this month, her inspiration is Valentine's. And they're beautiful, again. So I get the monthly mini subscription from Dina's Home of Crafts. 
and I shall link her website below she's got some beautiful beautiful yarns on her website I haven't bought any full skeins from her yet but that's de it's definitely on my wish list and you always get a stitch marker so here's the stitch marker little golden heart which is really pretty so the yarns I shall show you them one at a time so we've got this really really lovely black really really like this color I'm not a big black fan but there's just there's it's really hard to explain but there's tones to this black in and it's it's just a really stunning color and then we've got this really luscious red which is really really luscious and then this really pretty it's very girly I can think of a couple of little girls who would love some more of this to make a nice cowl or something or some mittens I'd love to have a go at making mittens or even gloves although I'm not sure if I the the fingers for gloves frighten me so that's it I get three um they are 20 gram minis so you get 85 meters per mini ski so I buy three a month you can subscribe for one a month, three a month, or for a whole five, a whole set of five. And they all are designed to kind of go together. So this is them together. And I do think these ones do quite go nicely together. I'm not sure how this will go with my other speckles though. So I'm trying to bunch them into sets so that I can find a project where they can complement each other so other incoming uh, if you are a regular viewer you will have already you may have already seen my unboxing video of the Derrimore's mystery box so I haven't brought that yarn down to show you today I have brought the the yarn that I did specifically order that was not part of the mystery yarn which is the You and Me Double Knitting by Stylecraft. Mm -hmm. I saw them post this a couple of days before they released, released it for purchase. And, oh, it's beautiful. It knits up as if it's fair isle. So the, I, I will do a couple of swatches in knitting and crochet and I will maybe pop a review and that's my light just gone out of battery <laughs> oh dear this is my 13th episode i wonder if everything's going to go wrong <laughs> anyway i've still got some light so this is i went for the colorway grace and it's just gorgeous so i will try and get round to doing some sort of um yarn review video just give it a try so i've never used this yarn before obviously it's brand new and it's so beautiful it's got um 80 percent premium acrylic and 20 percent cashmere effect polyamide but i really it's so soft it is so so soft and Catherine's nodding furiously because she's already had a squish <laughs> And now then, briefly, on to the, my incoming magazines. I've gone a bit mad with magazines this month, uh, this last couple of weeks. So, um, Crochet Now. I'm on to issue 65. And I really want to make that sweater. I'm not going to use a cord for yarn, though. Because it's got mohair. And I mohair makes me itch <laughs> there are here's a better picture of it there so this uses the sheepies alpaca rhythm doubled with sheepies mohair rhythm so i might just um they're both lace weights so i'm going to assume two lace make a full uh, fingering weight is that right would that be right i'm not sure I need to have a look 
but I'm fairly sure two lace weights would make a, a, at least a fingering if not a DK so I will have a go at using that and the gift for this was supposed to be not something I was particularly bothered about receiving to be honest which was like a, a what was it a rescue kit yes yeah, a crochet rescue kit is what they called it so the free gift was supposed to be that but what I got was even better because they've had um I'm sure I'm going to assume that Brexit has got in the way of a few of the deliveries uh, the crochet society box my last one has been delayed because of that uh, but I won't be making any of the makes from it. They have already given you a, 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 a cop, digital copy of the magazine that goes in there. And I don't like any of the patterns that come with it. So I'll just be taking the yarn out of the box and popping it on the shelf. So I got this instead. Which I'm really pleased with. There's a few projects in here that I really, really like. Including this little toadstool house. And I think my girls would love that. They love like fairy things and things like that. So I'm, I'm not a big fan of Amy, but I'm going to have a go. I am going to have a go. And I need to stay saying, stop saying but today. I may say that a lot. Next um, is my Simply, I bought Simply Knitting. There were a few things on the cover that I quite liked. Uh, one of which was this gorgeous scarf just up here. So this is issue, issue, issue number 208. And um, yeah, so I like this cardigan and this jumper. I folded down a few a few corners in that one and the free gift of that was a birder knitting magazine and there were a few things in here that I want to knit too and one of my favorites has to be this cardigan that cardigan is absolutely gorgeous I can't wait to make that and then I had to buy knit now and I wonder if you could spot why <laughs> I have a little girl who likes unicorns and she was looking over my shoulder at an email I received from Crochet Society and at the bottom of the email they said why not try something new and posted a picture of the cover of this magazine and she saw this set and decided she needed the mittens and the toy. So I'm going to have to make those knit mittens and the toy. So that came with a little pattern book too and that has a couple of bits in there that I like. So that was a bit of a rushed incoming but I'm very conscious that it's after eight o'clock and Simon will be wanting to come down and watch some TV with me and Catherine and oh, I might put some dessert in the oven because I'm feeling like something sweet. So that was everything I believe. If I've missed anything out I'll try and remember to show it next time. Don't forget to um, like this video. If you're not already subscribed please subscribe. I have said that when I get to 100 subscribers I will do a little giveaway with maybe a, a pattern or two or a little bit of yarn and I will um, see you again in a couple of weeks for episode 14. I can't believe this is starting to race on a little bit now isn't it? And um, yeah so I hope you all have a lovely couple of weeks and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye. <laughs>